Hello everyone, this is America's Most Outspoken Artist, Lance Skirvin, and I just want to say a few words to you while I'm on my break at work. I'm overhearing so many conversations these days about, you know, situations that people have at home, women that have men at home that do not want to work, men that just lay around all day, they're complaining about them, they're, they're, they're focusing on why or what is wrong, why don't they want to get up and get a job, you know, they feel so content to eat all day, watch TV all day, play video games all day. And after a while, you know, I have to focus and say, well, what's wrong with you? What did you not see in him? Because it's appointed for every man to work. A man cannot eat if he does not work. Granted, you stick by your man. If your man has an injury, if your man is sick, if your man just got laid off and he is feverishly working and pounding the pavement to look to get some job, you know, or some work or some money in there, but the whole landscape has changed. It's different now. We're not going to get everything in one job. One job is not going to be the answer. Actually, you know, even if you did have one job that paid everything, the very money that we make on these jobs is diminished in its, in its punch. It's not worth as much. So the bottom line is that it's fragmented. We're going to have to put together and piece together different things that we do uh, to make a full income and to make it more effective. And in some regions in the country, we're going to have to work two and three jobs, okay, until we can learn to live below our means, until we can focus on making things better, but you attack it two ways. Let me let this engine go by. Wow, that's loud. I don't know if you can hear it as good as I do. But um, it, it's going to take more than just, well, I'll, I'll go tomorrow. You know, and I have to also say that when you do lose a job, don't, don't take a vacation. That's not the time to do so because, you know, the three days that you say that you're going to rest, that turns into a week, that turns into a month, and you look around six months if you have that type of finance to lay back on, but you don't want to lay on your mate. Your woman will start to look at you differently. She'll say, wait a second, you know, what are you doing? You know, I'm out here busting my behind, and I do, granted, I do know that it's easier for a woman to get a job, especially a black woman, you know, because the companies cover the fact that well I got a woman working for me and a minority so it's two for one so it's harder for his brothers but I'm not gonna say it's harder and be a victim no God put a seed inside of you for greatness he put the mightiest seed inside of you to conquer you know to conquer this earth you have to figure out and use your brain just as much as you use your brain on 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 on, on getting extra women getting booty being slick that's the same way that you have to go and focus on you know doing what must be done to make ends meet that's the best way um the bottom line is you know you don't let anything get in your way you keep your focus and um i think i have an interrupter here you know anyway just people are so nosy damn this guy sat in the car and just he had to walk where is he going i should put the camera on him this guy i mean when you're doing something worthwhile you know let me just tell you you could be in uniform you could be on a job you can obviously have a position yet people certain people look at you like he's up to something why does he have the camera let me watch him he must be up to no good you know some people are just plain old sick but yeah i do have to go i'm not running because of that knucklehead but um you see what i have to deal with when i'm out here you know one guy asked me if i was the bus driver i drove up in the bus are you the bus driver i said well you know i can find them if you just wait right here when i drive the bus away but anyway um like i said it was it's fragmented and you know, you find out what your man is made of. It's like a lake that's dried up of all the water. And you see that old bathtub. You see the three cars that were abandoned, burned up, and thrown. You find guns at the bottom. You find a couple of dead bodies. You know, you find out what a person is made of when things dry up. So when you do choose a man, ladies, make sure he is doing something. Make sure he has something that he is feverishly going after. Make sure he has the hustle in him and he is willing to do absolutely anything to secure your peace of mind, just as you are already doing your peace of mind. And I could flip it. There are ladies out here who are lazy also. But from what I'm hearing today, and this is, I go according to what I see, what I feel for the day, you know, I'm getting on you fellas. And also, too, if you know anybody in the Orlando area who needs their toilet bowl clean for $5 or $10, you let me know because I'll gladly do it because I got the hustle in me. And on that note, I'm going to leave. I have to get up, take this bus. This is America's most outspoken on this land, Skirvin. It's a bright sunny day here in Orlando. And um, peace out, and I love you all. Hit me back with the comments. Let me know what's going on. Bye-bye.